What's going on guys? Ryan here, Jet Patrol. Today we are going to a little Comic Con, a little toy show in Statesville, North Carolina. Kent should be meeting here in just a little bit, but I just got here and I'm excited. I've never been here. Let's go. Alright, we have made it indoors and uh, it's actually loud and uh, a little larger than I thought it was going to be. Uh, give you guys just a quick run around. Uh, it's, uh, I think it's more than one room actually. I think it's actually kind of large. So we're gonna look, I'm actually looking for some Black Series stuff today. Maybe a hot toy. I don't know, anything Star Wars related. And uh, whatever else kind of fun stuff we can find. Mandalorian is always gonna be on the list. So uh, let's get on with the hunt. Okay guys, so I found a Hasbro speeder bike. Uh, that's missing quite a few pieces. You guys can see that. And this guy, this is the official way to ride a speeder bike right here. That is how you do it. So in case you didn't know the official way to do it, that is 100%. Uh, Terry Smith knows all about that. He's, he's a biker. Uh, so he knows that that's the proper way to do it. Uh, they do have some Pez. And I found this guy over here. Look at this kid pull live in the house. I was actually talking about that. You were looking for something down here? Oh, well, there you go. All right, well, it's not the brood you're looking for. It is super loud in here, so I hope you guys, I hope the audio is okay. It is, I mean, you can sell there's all quite a few people. Uh, we do have some legends up here. We got some, some other figures, some Power Ranger stuff and whatnot going on. And uh, I'll get out of his way while he's filming. But there is so much stuff. We have the 501st going on over here, which we've got some helmets going on. And it's do not touch. They won't sell them to you, which kind of sinks. Because I kind of like this Tuscan Raider that's up top. I think I think that's pretty cool. And then we got some other other helmets and whatnot. So I wish somebody was here actually selling those. I might actually pick one up. And if you didn't know, everybody is trying to capitalize on Baby Yoda. There is more Baby Yoda merch than anything that I've ever seen. It is quite ridiculous. Uh, of course, it's officially. Uh, it's officially licensed stuff, right? Officially, uh, yeah, officially licensed. But um, they got some pretty cool stuff, so we're gonna keep on looking. I see some uh, some Jedi over here with lightsabers. I think I saw a Mando, hold on. There's a Deadpool. We met Deadpool and I thought I saw, yep, I see a, a, I see a, I see a Mando. So we'll get out of the way here. Let's see if we can't, uh, it's like customized Mando, but there we go. There's a Mando. So, like I said earlier, this is quite a bit larger than I anticipated for a $5 cover fee. It's not terrible, right? Pretty good. But they've got all kinds of stuff, a lot of cosplay stuff, like a lot of cosplay stuff. So, I'm looking for some more collectible type items than cosplay, but uh, we'll see what we can find. Now, I've never done the Dungeons and Dragons thing, but uh, for those who do, this is pretty cool. Look at the detail on these things, a little light up feature going on there. So, I know nothing about it, but. Uh, I can appreciate the artwork behind it. It's another piece over here for you guys who do this kind of stuff. Pretty cool. Alright, so we've officially found Captain Kirk. Uh, the scale proportions might be a little out of whack. I don't know. Uh, we got a Thor, we got a Dr. Pepper. So they do have pops scattered throughout the con. They got a whole bunch of chases. They're pretty much everywhere. Uh, but there's some stuff down there and we got some other stuff. You know, nothing super exciting at this particular location. Uh, but we're gonna keep on looking. Might find something cool. So over here we got some pops. This looks like uh, ten dollars or two for fifteen. This is actually a rebel base. You guys have uh, have seen me go to that store quite a bit. So it looks like they traveled to this uh, this event. So we got a bunch of pops. Looks like probably a bunch of common stuff. Nothing super exciting there. Got some Mezco stuff. Uh, Hella. It's like uh, I don't even know. Like Black Panther maybe. Yeah, Black Panther. This might be Cyclops. Maybe. Or Wolverine, one of the two, I don't know. Uh, but they've got those. They've got some Marvel Legends. Got a whole pile of uh, figures down here. We've got comics. And then uh, down there, they've got some, actually, uh, some Black Series figures. And I'm kind of digging this Harley, guys. I think that's pretty cool. Pretty cool pop. Uh, I lost, oh, there's Kempel. We lost him. All right, so in this bin, we've got some three and three quarter stuff. Five dollars a piece. Five for 20. They've got these battle droids, which I kind of dig. Kind of dig the battle droids to go with, um, you know, some of my collections. So maybe if I found like a whole 
slew of these battle droids. I might pick up some of these guys to throw along the display to go with my uh, vehicles that I've got. So I found two so far. I don't know if I'm, I don't know. We'll see if I have enough patience to dig through all this to find them, but I might. Stay tuned. Well, it looks like we got some three and three quarter figures and some, I have no idea what this is. Anybody know what this is? I have no idea what that is. I'm sure that's something. Uh, let's see here. Looks like we got a Han. Got a little Vader. With red eyes, nonetheless. We got a Luke with, uh, looks probably some action arms or something going on. Yeah, nothing I need in there. Unfortunately, I need the three three quarter Poe and I need three three quarter BB-8. So, no luck so far. There's that guy again. It is really dark in here. I mean, I know over here might be a little light, but like the actual where the stuff is, considerably darker. So it's kind of tough to actually get some good lighting going on. But it's like piles of people have these birds of prey pops. They are flooding the market everywhere. Stay tuned for more of those. I'm sure they're gonna have piles of exclusives. Haven't seen the film yet. If you have, let me know. Let me know if it's worth going to see. But we do have some Mezco figures and a whole pile of pops over here. We'll go check them out. All right, guys. So we've got pretty uh, pretty good selection of exclusive pops going on here. Piles of chases. It's Mr. Bean up there. We've got some. Uh, this looks like SDCC exclusives. Yep, ECCC. It was hiccup from uh, How to Train Your Dragon 2. Pretty cool pop, right? Yeah. So we got Beauty and the Beast. All this looks like pretty common stuff, nothing crazy. Pretty much anything you could find at stores right now uh, is what's on this shelf. I do believe there's some other uh, better stuff on the other side, if I remember correctly. I just did a quick walkthrough uh, earlier, but I do see some PX previews going on, see some NYCC stuff. There's a three pack of the creatures. Although the creatures look like they've fallen out of the packaging. Uh, having owned that, I can tell you that's not right. Uh, let's see what else we got here. We've got some Hot Topic exclusives. Some more Mickeys from the Funko Shop. So, you know, some, some interesting stuff. There's some Batman stuff going on down the bottom. Uh, for those of you who want to collect that stuff. But Fantastic Four line from the Glow in the Dark. See how dark it is over here? It's crazy. I'll try to lighten it up in post, but... Uh, it's it's quite dark in this area. So there's your uh, anime, My Hero Academia. All right, so over here, guys, we do have a pretty cool figure, which I do not own. We got a three and three quarter Cody. I actually do like that one. That's actually that's actually pretty neat. And I know you guys, uh, some of you guys out there collect these or have been thinking about collecting these Mythic Legions. Uh, so we got piles of these. Look, I mean, 50 bucks a piece. I don't know if that's good price or not because I don't collect them. Uh, but they do have, uh, looks like, pretty much a lot of the same three figures actually that one at the bottom right here is a little different so that's too dark to even look at so we got a bunch of three and three quarter star wars uh master of the universe and some joes okay guys we got some prints this is the sideshow mythos fet got some art prints there of that it's like hot toys captain marvel then we've got uh this looks like sideshow's life-size uh child Looks like right there, if I get the, without the crazy lighting going on, we got Darth Maul. Pretty cool art prints going on there. Okay, so without being too mean to somebody here and not calling them out, being crazy, but that dude straight up took photos from Sideshow's uh, gallery and printed them and is selling them at the con. Now, that's the first time I've seen that. I don't know if other people do that. I imagine it's probably done, but uh, that's pretty ballsy to just straight up take photos from uh, Sideshows, uh, you know, or Hot Toys, or even any other figure, uh, but that that uh, life-size Yoda photo was straight up uh, Sideshows photo, and he just straight up printed it and is selling it, and uh, that's I, that's crazy. I don't even, I don't people, man, they do crazy stuff. All right, so this might seem super weird, but we are now at an antiques mall in Statesville, North Carolina. Actually, Mooresville, Mooresville. We're in Mooresville, North Carolina now. Uh, Kent's says there's a shop here, a booth here, that's got some pretty cool stuff, Star Wars vintage stuff, some Marvel stuff, some action figures, so I don't know, but I like cool stuff. Let's go check it out. All right, guys, I see a sign that says toys. How awesome would it be to have that sign in the Jetta Patrol studio? I think that'd be pretty sick. So let's uh, let's see what we got inside. Star Wars stuff going on. These look like 12-inch uh, figures. 
which is not a bad thing to have for just background. I mean, it's not going to be Hot Toys quality or anything, but uh, that's kind of cool. Let's see here. Smile, you're being watched. Oh, well, thank you. Uh, let's see what we got here. I'm trying to open this up one-handed. There we go. We haven't had that driver. So those are pretty cool little 12-inch figures. 25 bucks. Can't be upset at that, right? Got Snow Troopers. We got a Greedo, Tuscan Raider. We got Luke. Ah, I'll put this box back here. TIE Fighter Pilot. Uh, Snow Trooper. Pretty cool stuff down there, right? We got some Power of the Force. Cloud cars going on here. Some baseball stuff. And uh, there's a Falcon. And then look at this. I don't think I've ever seen these special action figures. Oh, Angry Birds Star Wars stuff. Interesting. Yeah, never seen that before. That's uh, that's actually kind of interesting. So we got some three three quarter stuff going on. And tur whoa, how long has it been since I've seen this thing? Holy cow! No joke. That is cool. I remember owning this a long time ago. Wow, that's cool. Talk about memories, yo. That is awesome. Wow, that's cool. I mean, I mean, at an antique shop or antique mall, uh, that's that's pretty cool. I don't know if anybody out there in YouTube land has actually ever owned one of those, but that's a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool item to have. Let's see what else we got. We got a Wolverine, which we actually saw that at the con. We got some old board games and whatnot, and it looks like we got some Age of Resistance figures up here, as well as some uh, some battle droids. So uh, not bad, not bad. Let's see what else we can find. All right, so Harold brought us here for this particular booth. And uh, to say I'm a little disappointed is an understatement. So um, the king of the north. This is all my Hot Toys money. This oh, is right. Uh, this, is, this is not exactly what I had in mind. I hope, I hope this is a joke because... Uh, no, it gets better. Okay. Oh, no. Okay, now I see Star Wars stuff. He had me worried there for a minute, man. That was about to be scary. Whoa, check out all these Black Shoes figures. Oh yeah. Now this is this is what I'm talking about. All right, that was you have redeemed yourself. All right, so let's take a look, guys. We got three three quarter scarf. Look at this guy. Super cool. Scarf trooper. Uh, looks like we got Claw two skiff guard. Look at this guy. I think that's super cool. Uh, we have the lights and sound Vader right here. Uh, pretty sure you can still get this from Shumi. Uh, for not uh, for not that not not that much uh, <laughs> just saying so we got Cara Dune Incinerator Trooper which is always when you guys know my thoughts on this one one of my favorite pops of 2020 so far off world jaw I haven't picked up Mandalorian on the Blurg I have no intentions of picking that one up uh, just not interested in that one right now let's see what we got we got a Obi-Wan we got a Leia we got a whole wall of Black Series figures, three three quarters. Maybe we'll find. Oh, here's another uh, another Scarif Trooper. Not bad, right? So, big fan of those. Let's see what we got. We've got Chopper. Got some Death Troopers going on here. Yeah, prices are they're a bit stout. Not gonna lie, they're 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 strong. They're strong, uh, considering uh, thirty two dollars for Anik. They're they're a bit strong. But uh, maybe there's some haggling to be had or something. I don't know. Some deals to be made. But uh, we'll look. We'll keep looking. Uh, let's see here. We've got Obi-Wan, Ray, BB-8. I wish that was a three-quarter version because I need three and three-quarter BB-8. Uh, we do have some stuff up here. Let's see. We've got Mace, Thrawn. There's Thrawn up there. We've got Obi-Wan. Admiral Piet. So all kinds of stuff in here, guys. Uh, I'm gonna kind of dig through here and see if I can find anything that I need to pick up for the collection, and uh, I'll get back with you. I, I was able to actually find something I do need, uh, and it's not this, but that, that's actually a three and three quarter Vader there. But actually, back here there's a pretty cool uh, Black Series Vader. There it is. Let's see if I can show you guys this without knocking something over, please. Come on, work with me. Uh, it's actually this Dagobah test. Luke Sculpt in the Vader, right? Pretty cool. Um, but I do have, uh, I'm looking for the three and three quarter Poe Dameron figure. No look here so far. I, I mean, they have, uh, they have this one, 
but it's the 5 POA version and I actually need the uh, the vintage collection line to go uh, for another video I've got prepared for you guys so stay tuned for that um, still looking for that haven't found it yet but they did have this BB-8 which I know I need and my buddy Greg needs so uh, we may be picking up this 10 bucks I honestly just need that one piece uh, and that might just be worth it for me but these are pretty cool little Rogue One sets got a Scarif Trooper going on here all kinds of cool stuff so they've got Black Series wall here we got some uh, Hot Wheels stuff going on here we've got some uh, Kota Bikia Shore Troopers Kylo uh, we've got uh, Yoda K2 up there so some pretty pretty awesome stuff going on that front I like that uh, that Dengar right there that's pretty cool and then we got a bunch of pops which for the most part looks like pretty common stuff so we're not gonna spend too much time uh, looking at those okay guys so we are all done in Main Street antiques and collectibles and it's outside and it's snowing and, and, and that's not good but I did pick up a BB-8 for myself and I picked up a BB-8 for the legendary Greg Cook uh, for his uh, X-Wing for Poe Damon. Poe Damon. <laughs> Poe Damon. Matt like. Damon's cousin. <laughs> Matt. <laughs> Poe Damon, uh, save him. So, uh, Poe Damon saved the universe. He did, right? So we're actually heading off to another spot. I don't know where we're going to end up, but continue on with the hunt. Picked up some stuff, got some deals. Time to go on. Let's go. Okay, so we made it to a new toy shop. We're actually is a comic shop. And I don't know if you guys can hear it, but there is a pile of people on the other side of this wall. I'll show you. Playing um, games of some kind, Dungeons and Dragons, maybe. We'll kind of walk this way and see what we got going on. I don't know exactly what game they're playing, but that would be my guess. Some kinds of games. There's a bunch of people in there, so uh, if the audio is rough, I'm sorry. Can't really control too much of that. There's Kent. He's over there filming. But we were over here, and uh, we wanted to try to check out this, this shop. Right over here, there was this huge Tantiv 4 from the uh, Star Wars game there. That's actually pretty cool. First time seeing that. I mean, that's that's fairly, like, there's my hand. It's it's fairly large for uh, for what it is versus these miniatures, which you're used to seeing, and you know, like the Slave one there and uh, different uh, TIE Interceptors, stuff like that. So it's pretty pretty cool piece right there. Uh, as far as uh, comics go, it looks like they've got a pile of comics to choose from. I am still waiting. Very soon we'll have issue three of The Rise of Kylo Ren, so stay tuned for that. Highly recommend picking up that that book. Um, the series the first two issues have been great so far. So we got some pops here. This is gonna be all new release stuff. Nothing really super exciting. Although I'm again X Men uh, 80 year uh, fan. The Iceman looks pretty good. Got Super Scroll, Wolverine. I really, you know what? I need to I need to get a hold of Shumi, and I need to get this set because I'm telling you it looks fantastic. So uh, there we go. But there's Captain Marvel. We got Agent 13 from Civil War. That's an old one. Like this was what 2016. Yeah, I mean that thing's been around a good minute. Wow. All right, so um, they've got those. Got some DC stuff, designer series, some uh, Fantastic Four pops. Got some art prints and uh, metal prints going on up top. And then uh, just around here, they've got a bunch of these uh, model deals that people uh, paint up for different games. I don't do too much of that. Sorry if I'm not an expert. But, uh, oh, what is this? Hold on. Is this part of, what is this? Unit expansion. Oh, they have Star Wars. Well, I can't hate that, right? Snow troopers, storm troopers, bark speeders. All right, I'm not going to lie. That's pretty cool. I, I don't have any skills in painting whatsoever. Uh, but that, that's actually pretty cool. Let's see what else they got here, just for giggles. Battle droids. All right, not gonna lie, those, those are pretty cool. And then I see, ooh, look at these guys. All right, so anyways, I'm not gonna go down that rabbit hole because that could get very expensive very quickly, as I can tell. But it does look cool for you guys. Anybody out there participate in this, let me know. Um, it's kind of neat, I don't know. It's cool little di display pieces to uh, add to the collection. All right, guys, and we're just like that. We're back here in the studio, and you guys have saw earlier at the con, uh, we had like an hour and a half drive to go to that thing. It was crazy. It was snowing. That was crazy. I was able to pick up that BB-8 I needed for an upcoming project, what I'm going to tell you about here in just a second. But the, the guy who was selling the art prints his photography there at the at the con uh guys you shouldn't do that don't don't do that don't pass off other people's work as your own 
that's just not, don't do that. It's kind of crazy. Like he was sitting there, he downloaded photos from either Facebook, Hot Toys Group, uh, or uh, the Hot Toys Facebook page, uh, or the Sideshow. Obviously, he got the, the child photos from Sideshow directly and uh, did a little healing, got rid of the logos, got rid of the text. Absolutely ridiculous and was selling them as prints there at the con and he was telling me this whole story about how he went in digitally and added backgrounds and how he has lighting going on and I'm sitting here going as you guys know photographer yeah I know I know all about it guys it's complete BS so uh, that was just kind of nonsense I thought you guys uh, would be interested in seeing that but the BB-8 three three quarter figure I needed I also got one from my buddy Greg Cook is for an upcoming video which is right here in this box look at this see this giant box right here look at this star uh, star wars rise of skywalker crazy box now hasbro sent me this giant box it is amazing i'm going to do an unboxing of it it is absolutely slap full of some awesome figures star wars stuff all kinds of other collectible things and i can't wait to get in there and show you what they sent me if you want to see that Hit the subscribe, hit the thumbs up button. Let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of today's hunt video. Thank you for 40,000, almost 41. Moving on to 50. It's going to be awesome, guys. As always, click what you like. See you next time. Oh.